going to talk about hepatitis B and C. Hepatitis B and C are viruses that affect the liver. So specifically, affect, they affect the liver, but can they, they can affect other parts of the human body. Hepatitis B and C present in the long term can cause some changes in the liver, which may not often be symptomatic. So it could be quite late before someone knows that they've, they're suffering from hepatitis B. So the early stages might just be inflammation in the liver, which over a period of time causes scarring of the liver. Scarring is just stiffness. So the liver over a period of time becomes a bit stiff and when it becomes very stiff and shrunken, then the stage is called cirrhosis. Fortunately, for both hepatitis B and C, even in the very advanced stages of liver disease, uh, the disease could be reversible. So even at the cirrhosis stage, uh, if we institute the right treatment, this could be reversible. So that is the beauty of the liver. It has the capacity to regrow so that it undoes the damage. 70% of the liver is damaged and there is only 30% of the functioning liver. That can regrow itself if we remove the uh, irritating agent. It could be a virus, it could be something else. If we remove that agent, and the 30% of the liver can assume the normal function of 100% liver. So hepatitis B and C have now excellent treatments available. Uh, the treatments for hepatitis B are generally divided into two types. One is oral medications or tablets and the other one is injections. The injections are used in specific cases. Uh, the advantages of the injections being that they are very finite treatments that means they are usually given for less than a year and stop uh, but tablet medications may need to be continued long term depending on the condition. Hepatitis C treatment is now extremely well tolerated. It's purely tablets and it's often one tablet a day and for a very short period of time. So it is a very good idea for whenever someone has a health check to undergo routine testing for hepatitis B and C. If they're positive, we can treat. If they're negative, then we can vaccinate for hepatitis B. So in my view, everyone has to be vaccinated against hepatitis B because it is a very preventable condition because of this very nice vaccine available. So everyone should get tested and if positive, obviously be seen by a doctor to see if they merit any treatment and if negative, uh, to be vaccinated.